let's all sit and read a book. Hey guys, it's Em. So, uh, we finally finished another series of books, the Beautiful Creature series, which was amazing. If you want to see that video, it will, it's uploaded. Um, but this week we are going to be doing a different kind of book. Nothing magical or anything, but it was The Book Thief by Marcus Susak. Um, actually, I had to read it for my school, and I don't know, everyone says it was really good, and I've actually been meaning to read it for a couple of years now, but I just have not gone around to it. Plus, I saw how big it was, and I was like, oh my gosh. So, you know, things happen. You try. Uh, but anyway, let's start with the plot of the book before we get into what I thought about it or anything like that. So, the book was placed in World War II, and it's about this girl named Liesl. At the beginning of the book, her mother was taking her and her brother to a foster family's house, but the brother died on the way there. And that's where she gets her first book, which is called The Grave Digger's Handbook. And she doesn't know how to read it, but she always keeps it with her because it's something that reminds her of her brother. Anyway, so they get to the foster home, and it's with this family who, it, the kids have all grown up and moved out. But anyway, Liesl's mom leaves her there, and she stays with this family and grows up with them, that kind of thing. Along the way, she meets many characters, like Rudy, and she becomes an official book thief. She steals a book from the when the Germans were burning the Jews' books and everything. She stole a book there. She continues stealing books at the mayor's wife's house. Um, and she learns to read. Her papa, the foster parent, teaches her to read, and that's how she kind of like expresses herself throughout the book, is that everything is so bad in World War II, people are dying, and yet she's able to relieve herself from that through reading and just getting lost in a book. I, we all do it. Um, but along the way, they a lot of people in Germany during World War II would house Jews and try to save them. And that's exactly what her foster family did, which is how we met Max. He is a Jew who stays in their basement, and you can see that her and, or that Max and Liesl were getting close with each other, and that it's kind of like a brother-sister bond, because she was very young, and he was around 20, but I mean, the age, it just, mm, yeah, I think you get what I'm saying. So, you know, they get close, but... Finally, they realize that there's bombings that are coming, and they realize Max needs to get out. So Max leaves them, and, you know, all that happens. By the end of the book, you see that Max was taken by the Germans, and there's another bombing that happens. Everybody on where Liesl's foster family street was died, except Liesl. You know, by the end of the book, you see her going to her parents' bodies, Rudy's body, who was actually her crush. They kind of had like a love off sort of thing going on. Um, and just everyone she knows dead. But she gets a job with Rudy's father, who's still alive. And um, yeah, she also learns to write, which was another way she expressed herself. But that's how the books end. But my... I don't know how I felt about it, honestly. Like, I can see the point in what the author was trying to do. He was trying to show that reading can really just express feelings more than words can. But at the same point, I just did not like reading that book. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I don't really like to read anything on World War II. It just, it makes me, yeah, not that I, like, I understand how bad it was. And that's probably why I didn't like reading it was because, yeah. But that's my thoughts on the book. Leave in the comments what you guys think about it. I don't know. I heard a lot of people say I liked it and I just I don't know It just did not click with me. It was not my cup of tea Anyway plans for the next coming weeks. Um, I will be doing the Dangerous Creatures book Which is a spin-off series from Beautiful Creatures. I will be finishing up the Mortal Instruments series I will be doing the Divergent series um, and uh, Yeah, so if you have any books you would like to recommend leave them in the comments and yeah if you like this video leave a like comment below what you think and i will see you guys later keep reading thanks bye